If you love Thai Tom Yum Soup, then this is the fried rice for you. It's like the ultimate combination of Tom Yum flavors and fried rice and egg and ah, ah, it's just the best. So what we're gonna do for this one, guys, is take those really beautiful, classic Thai Tom Yum Soup flavors and put them into our fried rice. Yes, can't wait. <laughs> okay, I love this one so much. Let's start off with the galangal. Galangal is one of those essential ingredients and flavors for a tom yum soup. It has a much more high floral citrusy note than ginger does. It freezes really well. So keep an eye out for it at your Asian grocery. You can see it's got little pink bits here. It's a lot paler than ginger as well. If you get a hold of some, stick it in the freezer. Okay, so I just want a little knob of that and I'm just gonna peel off that skin. I just want to chop this up into small pieces. Okay, into my mortar, and I'm also going to add some lemongrass as well. So the galangal and lemongrass are quite firm, um, so these get pounded first. Now with the lemongrass, you just want to loosen everything up by banging it with your knife. And then I always find these outer bits can be a little bit firm, so I take those off. So these pieces you could actually save in the freezer for when you do make a tom yum soup and you can just put these in that'll infuse the broth. But for this one, I need a really fine chop. Okay, add a little salt in here that's gonna help us break down those fibers and then just pound this to a fine paste. Okay, now time for the chilies and I'm using these Thai bird's eye chilies. I'm gonna use three of these. These guys are hot and spicy, um, but whatever kind of chili you've got in your area that has some kick, that's the one you want. And then the other classic tom yum flavor that we need is kaffir lime leaves. I wanna take the stem out first. And the easiest way to deal with these is just roll them up and then finally slice. Now just bruise these with all the other ingredients in here. Okay, so this is what we're looking for, and oh, the smell is so amazing. Oh, I love that smell. I can smell the heat of the chilies, making my eyes water a little bit. That's just what you want. And now for the sauce. So one of the ingredients we use for Thai tom yum soup is called Nam Prik Pao. This is what it looks like. It's kind of like a really thick chili jam. It's got shrimp in there as well, shallots. Now, if you're looking for it at your Asian grocer, look for something called Thai chili paste or Thai roasted chili paste. I've got a video for how you can make this one from scratch. It's pretty easy. Check it out on my YouTube channel. So we want a fair decent whack of that and some soy sauce and fish sauce and a little bit of sugar because all of the ingredients I've added so far, the chili paste is actually quite sour as well as being a little spicy, it's got tamarind in it. And the other two are quite salty, so we need this to kind of balance everything out. And then you want some lime juice as well. Okay, and that paste is a little sticky, that's why I like to mix this before I get it into my stir fry. Just keep mixing until you've got a smooth sauce. Okay, so now we're ready to get our rice frying and I'm using some day old jasmine rice here. That's the best because it's kind of a bit dry, it's been sitting in the fridge. Uh, I do have a video on how to make rice, especially for fried rice, on my YouTube channel as well, so you can check that out. Um, but now let's get our wok heating up. Okay, so a little bit of oil and our little flavor paste that we made. The onions go straight in. <coughs> oh, those chilies. Oh. Okay, give your onions like 20 seconds or so, just till they start to soften. Now push everything to the side. Add in your prawns. So you could use chicken here as well if you like, or even tofu is great as well. Okay, start tossing those prawns through. Oh, I'm loving this lemongrass smell and the kaffir lime. It's already making me super happy. <coughs> and cleaning out my sinuses. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna get my eggs straight into the pan. I'm just gonna push everything to the side again. I wanna add a little bit of oil and then just crack those eggs straight in there. And then just mix that yolk around and then spread out the egg mixture so it starts to cook like an omelette. Now once I can see that that egg is just about set, I'm gonna lift it off and start flipping it around. Scrape it up from the bottom. Now I've just got a few slices of tomato here and I just wanna warm them through. And now the rice. Okay, and time for the sauce. Now just mix everything together and look at that beautiful red color. Ah. Oh, this looks so good. Time to get out on a serving plate. 
And just like you would get here in Bangkok, I'm gonna put a little bit of cucumber on the side and then a couple of sprigs of spring onion and a wedge of lime. And there you go guys, amazing, beautifully fragrant Dom Yum soup flavors, but in an epic fried rice, yay. I mean, for me, this is the ultimate. Mmm, mmm, mmm. The spice, the lemongrass, kaffir lime. It's that little bit of sourness from the lime. Mmm. So amazing. If you've got any comments or questions, pop them below. And if you enjoyed the video, why not hit that subscribe button plus the little bell one, and that way you'll get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks guys.